The quick access toolbar is this little faded area here that already has a few buttons on it. Yours probably just has the save button. When you hover over it gives you the save and the shortcut control S and also the undo and redo button. So if you make a mistake you can always undo it and if you need to redo your mistake you can always redo it. I also have the uh, save as. Now the whole purpose of the quick access toolbar again is to be able to quickly access features or execute commands. So for example I have my save button here right. Before I click on save notice the title of my workbook is book one. That's a generic title. Anytime I open up Excel it's going to give me book one. Now it'll always be book one until I actually save it. Now I can go ahead and click save and when I save it it's going to ask me two questions. Where do you want to save this workbook and what name do you want to give it? So I go ahead and click the save button. It brings up the window and it performs a save as. You see the thing is is that instead of doing save anytime you save something for the first time like you see up here it has no title. It's going to ask you where do you want to put it and here's the window. Do I want to put it in the custom callouts folder? in the documents folder, training folder, user folder, see the different levels there. And what name do I want to give it? So what you can do is you can browse through your computer by clicking on the desktop, double clicking on folders, find the spot that you want to save your workbook, give it a name and click save. So I can go desktop and I recommend that until you're used to Windows Vista usually clicking on the desktop and saving it to your desktop and giving it a generic name, call it my workbook, whatever name you want to give it. And then when you're finished go ahead and click save and it does two things. First of all, it saves the workbook as the name that you gave it, generic name, and then it's also saved in your desktop. So if I come up here and I click on the minimize button, there it is, generic workbook. So it's saved on my desktop. So I'm going to come down here on the taskbar and click on the button Microsoft Excel so I can maximize it again and back up to the quick access toolbar. So now that I saved it, I can make any changes that I want, type in whatever I want in any cell, make calculations, anything, and then when I'm finished I can click the save button. Now it's not going to pull back up and ask me what name I want to give it or where I want to save it because we did that the first time. It knows now and we gave it the commands. So anytime I close out of this and then I come back to my desktop and double click on that workbook, it saved everything and it didn't ask me again where do I want to save it or what I want to save it as. So again, the first time you save any new workbook that you open up, it's going to ask you those two questions. Second of all, once you open it up and you want to create copies, you can pull up the save as feature again. For example, clicking on the Office logo button, coming down to Save As, and you can click on Save As right here. And again, that will ask you where do you want to put this workbook and what name do you want to give it. If it's the same name and you click Save, it'll say, look, do you want to replace the one that you already have on your desktop? No. So maybe I want to give it a new name and just click Save so I have two different copies. I have my generic name and then I have my, let's click in here and call it Generic Name 2 and click Save and then close out and then on my desktop I have my first generic workbook and my second generic workbook and I'm going to go ahead and right click my second go down and left click on delete and say yes and send it right to the trash can I'm going to double click and open up generic workbook again you see my white cross as long as I can see it I'm going to click and drag to select a range and everything within that range all these DFs I'm going to hit the delete key on the keyboard and get rid of it then click off in a blank area and then as I delete it you'll notice that I have my undo button so if I made a mistake of deleting something or making changes to it that I don't want to make changes to, just hit undo. And then if I say, well, actually, I want to redo my changes or redo my delete, you can hit the delete key again or just come up here and hit the redo clear button, which deletes it. Undo, redo. Okay, click off in a blank area. And then I have my save as button. So if I ever need to make quick copies like my generic name, like we just did, click off a logo to save as again. And you'll notice when I hover over Save As, it gives me more options. It doesn't mean that this button doesn't work. It just means that I can either use this button. When I hover over, it gives me more Save As options. So, for example, when I click on Save As, I can save it as, as an Excel workbook and click the drop-down arrow here and save it as different other formats. For example, of an earlier format. So anybody who's not using Excel 2007, let's say they're using the old format, 97, 2002 XP or 2003, I can select that and then go ahead and type in a name, click Save, and then I can send it to them and they can easily open this up because it's an older version of Excel that I converted it or saved it to. Let me click Cancel and let me click on the Office logo again down to Save As. See right there where it says Excel 97 2003 Workbook? Well clicking that, when I click on it, opens up the same thing. It just presets my Save As type instead of me having to click on here and going and finding it. I'm going to click Cancel here. 
So again, when you click on the Office logo button, anytime you have any hover points, it just means there's additional features that it will set up for you, or you can just click run on the button itself like print. It opens up my print setup, so I can go ahead and make any changes to it and tell it how many pages I want to print and so forth before I actually click OK. I'm going to click Cancel, and that's a great segue because instead of coming to the Office logo button and coming down and clicking on Print, which takes two clicks, I'm going to click off in a blank area over here. And I'm going to add, I want to add the Print button right to my Quick Access Toolbar, so I just have to come up here and do one click. To do so, you can do it one of two ways. You can either, when in doubt, I usually tell my students, you can right click anywhere on the quick access toolbar and see how it gives me the same menu I can customize the quick access toolbar here and it pops open all these commands over on the left hand side that I could add to my quick access toolbar on the right I'm gonna click cancel we'll come back here in just a second or see that little down arrow to the right of the quick access toolbar if I click on that it gives me the most commonly used buttons one of which is doing the spelling print preview in fact if I click on the print preview you can see it adds it as a little button up at the top that I can just click on and it throws me right into print preview but because Microsoft Excel can find anything in here there's no reason to print preview so I'll click OK now that one click right here is a lot quicker than me coming clicking on the office logo going down to print and then clicking on print preview so it saves me some time when I can click off in a blank area and just come up here and click on the print preview. Click on the drop down arrow, there's quick print. Now the difference between printing and quick print is this. Let me go ahead and left click on quick print. It gives me a little printer button here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little tiny green circle with a white check mark in it. Let me add the print button. And I'm going to show you the difference between quick printing and the print button. I'm going to right click on the quick access toolbar and come down and go to customize which by the way when I click cancel is the same as clicking on the drop down arrow and going down to more commands okay now you have popular commands over on the left hand side but I want to click on the drop down arrow and go to all commands and then you get a really tiny little, little scrolly here because there's so many commands so it's alphabetized I just want to click and drag this until I get all the way down to the P's and there's my print right here now I have the quick print over here the quick print would be over on the left hand side as well but it'd be under the Q's because it begins with the letter Q right so I have my print, I can double click on that and it automatically adds it over to the right hand side and I can use my up or down arrows to move it around here on the quick access toolbar to set the order like save is going to be first undo redo but when I'm finished I can go ahead and click OK and it adds the print button now again if you can see that there's a little tiny difference between the two buttons the quick print button what that does is if I click on it now shoots it right out to the printer and what printer does it shoot out to well if I hover over it it says it's HP LaserJet it doesn't give me that little pop-up that says well how many pages do you want to print off or is it just a selection so if I hit that button right now I don't get a chance to set my print options but if I click on the printer here print button it gives me a chance to set up my print options before I actually click OK and that's the difference between the two. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and close out and to get rid of any of these buttons here I can just come up here and let me get rid of the quick uh, print I don't like that I like to set up my print options before I actually print them off. I'm going to right click on that quick print button and I'm going to remove it from the quick access toolbar with the left click and it's gone. So right click to customize and you want to make sure you right click on the appropriate button that you want to remove and when you're finished click off in a blank area oh and by the way you see this little dot 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 here along the right hand side anytime I click on print preview it likes to outline or put page breaks so I can see what's going to be printed in one page so everything between the column A and I is going to be on one page and everything over to the right may be on a second or third page but you want to watch the later training videos on that for right now we're done with the quick access toolbar